Hey guys, Mars Lincoln here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video, and so today we are going to jump in with the fully easy aid new Great Apes Global Exclusive on the Giant Ape Power Team and uh, see what our boys can do. So we're rocking the double Gogeta leads, um, getting these two linked up together, 100k defense, 114. I almost got them to full level 10 links in time for their easy A. As you can see, they are missing a, uh, a couple of links here and there. Now, Vegeta does have big bad bosses. It's only level nine, but it means it's almost gonna be active all of the time. So I did bring along the LR baby on this team build as another unit on the team that can have big bad bosses so we can get that activated. But we'll go ahead and see what we can do uh, in terms of the numbers on this particular event. So Raditz obviously is a nuking style unit. So the more orbs you pick up, the better he will be. So not necessarily the best start for him. Uh, obviously, remember the GT Super Saiyans are on Giant A Power and they're Rainbow Orb Changers. So they're obviously going to be uh, pretty helpful for Raditz if they're on the team. Being able to create those connections and then give him a huge amount of orbs to pick up. So each one of the units, uh, this isn't necessarily like their best team, of course. So, I mean, like this Goku has Saiyan Raw with... Vegito, and that's basically it. So, uh, definitely not the optimal setup. What is his defense looking like here? Still 100k defense. Um, so, I mean, Kid Goku, I think we'll probably do a video using him on the Dragon Ball Saga. Maybe on, like, Youth Super Battle Road or something. Because he really needs, like, a Dragon Ball Saga unit to be around him. Because he has a couple of those Dragon Ball Saga unit only links. But, I mean, he hits out a 2.8 million attack stat on that first uh, attack. So, that's not too bad. I mean, obviously, I said about it in the stream earlier when we did the EZA. So, shout out to anybody who was there at the stream. One of the things we were saying is, like, these units are the kind of units that need to get EZAs, right? EZAs are supposed to be for taking old units that you never use anymore because they're just not really good enough to be used in harder events and giving them a new place like to be used effectively so again this is going to be a bad turn for Raditz but our health is low enough that we do have big bad bosses active with Vegeta so his defense is 137k uh, bear in mind they do pretty much all of the apes uh, with their easy A's they do raise defense on super attack obviously Raditz uh, gets extra defense from orbs so he doesn't do that um, he also has uh, the additional 80% attack when performing super attack if HP is 80% or less, which we are not currently on this turn. So Vegeta is the one I probably care about the most. I don't want to lose big bad bosses, so I'm not going to pick up too many orbs here. Uh, same type orbs. But we'll go ahead and do this, and then we'll just grab this for baby. So Vegeta should have a pretty impressive attack stat here. Uh, at least Raditz tanking for double digits and then 1.8. It's not too bad. Uh, again, the problem with Raditz is he is a nuker. Wow, 3.2. That's not too bad. Um, I always thought Vegeta was going to have quite a lot of potential. Because having that big bad bosses. Like once that is at level 10, so it's active all the time. Then that's obviously going to be looking real good. Uh, big bad bosses, 25% extra attack and defense. And then remember these guys all have Saiyan Raw. Which is a 25% uh, attack link. Um, are we going to have any other links here? I guess once we get the super attack active, we do have Kamehameha. Because uh, that activates on the super attack. So, yeah, we get Kamehameha active. Uh, the Goku, for his passive, uh, he gets the 80%. And he gets the extra 80% on super. And then he has a medium chance to launch an additional super when HP is 80% or less. So, we're not currently at that threshold so i'm going to try and avoid same type orbs for the most part because all of these apes we want to drop them below 80 percent in order for us to get our full potential but i mean just shy of a three million attack stat is not bad for this goku i'm actually quite looking forward to seeing how well he's going to perform on that dragon ball saga team when we get him linked up with like the dokon fest kid goku for example now in that situation he's not going to have saiyan raw but Goku is also, Kid Goku is also the youth leader. Um, I'm trying to think if there is a unit we can fit onto that team that has Saiyan Raw alongside him. But we should hopefully be able to find someone. We should be looking good. 
Um, Raditz, we can actually finally get a decent amount of orbs. So seven orbs here. That puts him to 173k defense, which is pretty good. Um, so he's very typical of a nuking style unit. If you can get turns where you can get a lot of orbs, then Raditz is going to look really, really good. If you get a turn where you can only give him like two orbs, then he's not going to look very good. So it all comes down to uh, how the orbs play out, which is always a disadvantage for nuking style units. But Vegeta, even without big bad bosses here active, hitting 2.7 million and then tanking the super attack for double digit damage. So that's pretty good. Um, obviously, this is the letdown with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta not having Saiyan Raw, but we've got enough other units on the team, fortunately, to uh, for that not to be a huge issue. So if we go ahead and put you in slot 1, because Goku, um, Goku will get shattering the limit from this baby. So let's do this. I do want Goku to super, so we will have to get the same type orbs here. And then we'll grab these for baby. Uh, purposely not super attacking with Vegito because I think he would probably kill Super Saiyan 3 Goku here with his super attack. Uh, yes, he's showering the limit being, a, I think that's one of the, his ones that was at level 10. That giving him that little bit of extra attack boost, putting him over 3.1 mil and then the additional normal to get the finishing blow. So pretty good. Um, I'm definitely impressed with these guys just on the initial viewing on this team. And bear in mind, like I say, a couple of them are a little bit short of the full level 10 links, but uh, also, yeah, getting more defense after super, we probably shouldn't put uh, Vegeta in slot 1. So we can only get 4 orbs. That feels like a much more average turn than being able to get 7. That still puts them up to 146k, but I mean, obviously, they, they, do, they do raise defense on super attack as well. So it's not too bad, but... I definitely feel like just from this initial reaction of throwing these guys all onto this Gogeta team, it definitely feels like Raditz is the weakest, mainly because of the inconsistency. So I do think if you want to run Raditz on this team or any of the teams that he fits on, um, having an orb changer is probably going to be something you want to invest in so that you get that uh, extra chance to get those big strings of orbs for him. So Vegeta taking the type disadvantage super, 150k. It's quite a bit, but it's a type disadvantage super, kind of to be expected. Um, and this is going to drop us below 80%. So all of the new EZA apes are going to have their extra parts of their passive active here. So this kid Goku is going to have the chance to do these extra super attacks. So we'll put him in slot one. It's not ideal, of course, because uh, his defense does raise post super attack. But we'll go ahead and try this out here. He still takes double digit damage and then 3.17 and we didn't get the additional super sadly but very solid damage with the crit as well. So I mean these guys are looking pretty good. I mean this is a first look video for these guys first impression kind of thing and they are looking pretty good. Let me know down below how you want to see me use these guys in some other videos because obviously I think the one of the best things to do is use them individually on the different categories that they are going to be very strong on but obviously we need to think about the best way to do that so i might end up having to do separate videos for each of them um, but we'll see how it works out so we got a decent amount of orbs of raditz 150k that's not a great amount of defense so we could take a lot of damage from the super here I don't want to get above the 80%, so I'm going to pop a Whis just in case. I really am interested to see the attack stat for this Vegeta because we've got Big Bad Bosses active, but Vegeta not only gets the extra 80% when performing a super, but his below 80% ability is that he gets another 80% attack. So his attack stat here should be pretty damn big considering we are under 80%. He's getting Saiyan Raw and Big Bad Bosses active. Using the Whis was definitely a good idea because Raditz is getting a super attack here. Um, tanks the normal attacks okay. And then a 3.78 attack stat for him is very, very good. So what is Vegeta going to spit out here? 4.6. Pretty good for uh, a unit that was basically unrunnable up until this point. 4.6 million attack stat. So, I mean, imagine him getting an additional. 
They raise attack and defense on Super, so that's going to jump up to 4.7, 4.8 kind of levels. So, I mean, yeah, Vegeta definitely looking pretty interesting. Like I said right at the start, like the fact that he's a unit that has big bad bosses always gave him that sort of hidden potential, I guess, for lack of a better term. Like, he always had the potential to be hitting the hardest. Obviously, Raditz, if you can get like a crazy orb changing turn, I should have bought orb changing items, shouldn't I? Um, we'll do that for the standalone Raditz video, I guess. We'll make sure we bring uh, an orb changing item. So when we get him set up on his best rotation, which I imagine will probably involve the tech Raditz, and then we'd have to have another unit that has Saiyan Raw because it's such a big attack link. And then, yeah, use a um, use an orb-changing item. I guess we could do pure Saiyans and we could run, like, the STR Super Saiyan 3 GT Goku. Because he's a unit that could be run on teams with all of these guys. And obviously is a support unit whilst also providing Saiyan Raw. So that would definitely be a good setup. So uh, let's go ahead and put Vegeta in slot 1 for the Dokkan attack. And then... Sadly, only three orbs for Raditz. So three orbs, that's putting him at 136k defense pre-super. So we're probably looking at, what, like about 150, 160 after supering. Which isn't terrible, but it's not uh, the kind of crazy levels that we're seeing from some of the others. But again, that's always going to be the problem with nuking style units. Vegeta here, though, no big bad bosses, and he's at almost 4 million attack stat. So... Vegeta looking very, very strong. The other thing to remember as well about the physical kid Goku is he does infinitely stack with his super attack. So obviously in these longer events, uh, the physical Goku is going to look really good because the more he supers, the more he builds up his stats. So that is something to bear in mind. That kind of helps him out on this team where he's missing a lot of the links compared to the other two. Because as you can see like throughout this video, like he's getting barely any links active, which is a bit unfortunate. But, obviously, we will try them out. And we finally get our first 8 transformation. So, this was the thing that we didn't know going into the EZA. What the apes were going to do uh, post EZA. So, the Goku one. Destructive damage with a medium chance to stun. But, more importantly, key plus 2 in the passive. So, now we don't have to struggle to get 6 key every single time we want a super. Uh, funnily enough, there's 6 key there. But, here, we can only get 5. But five is enough. And then, of course, typically we can only get three there. But, I mean, hey, two supers in what pre EZA would have only been one. So, I will take that. And then, what kind of attack stat is the ape hitting? 1.2. That's the problem with the great ape units. And I said this when their EZA was announced is the great ape is hitting lower attack stats than Goku, like before transforming. So, the advantage to the great ape form is that you can't take damage. So, not, you know, we can't lose in any event. Like, we can't take damage in this mode. We just deal free damage. The only problem is you're dealing less damage than you would have done if you hadn't transformed. So, getting the ability to not die is obviously, you know, very valuable. But, unfortunately, um, you're trading it off for the big damage. Now, obviously, we have type disadvantage with this Goku. So, the actual damage that the Great Ape is dealing is not great. But I'm looking at the attack stat in general, right? We're already seeing Kid Goku at this point in the event hitting over 3 million attack stat. And so, the Great Ape is only hitting like half of what Goku was putting out here. And then, of course, remember the Great Ape attacks three times. Whereas on the other rotation, we had Goku, then we had Vegito and Gogeta still to attack as well. So, the Great Ape transformation, I feel like it's going to be most useful in things like Super Battle Road. Because getting three turns of damage in Super Battle Road is always really, really good. But, uh, let's go ahead and do this. So, obviously, following up from the Dokkan attack, we are back at having full HP now. I'm very interested to see what kind of damage this Goku is going to take from UI here after supering. Because even like Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, he needs to super first to get the most of his defense. So let's see. Goku's at 3.5 now. What with him being an infinite stacker, his defense is obviously pretty good. The double super is what we like to see. Get that extra super attack. And then, yeah, no damage from the normal attacks. No super would be nice. Good, good. 
And so then Baby coming in here with the 18 key. Baby obviously very much out of place in this setup. He's only really here to provide the big bad bosses link for Vegeta. But yeah, overall I would say these great apes are pretty good. I think we'll probably end off on this next rotation rather than go through all the other turns. We're going to end it with my favourite, the meme that I tweeted about the other day. The fact that all the great apes fire laser beams or fireballs out of their mouth. But our boy Raditz here... Uh, he chucks a giant rock at them, which is hilarious. So it looks like all the apes have the same passive. Massively raises attack temporarily, destructive damage, medium chance to stun, and then two key in the passive. The two key in the passive is massive. Because, like, we are still going to have turns like this where we struggle because of the orb placement. But five orbs, that wouldn't have been a super pre-easy A. So just like the first turn with the Kid Goku, we're getting two supers where we would have only got one. So... I'm a little bit disappointed that the apes are all the same. I mean, look at this. The great ape Raditz not even hitting a million attack stat. So he basically does no damage to UI Goku, which is disappointing. Basically means the ape transformation is kind of pointless in this difficult content. Super Battle Road is really where you're going to see the value. Because you can target like the enemy you have type advantage over. Get a couple of turns of free damage. You could probably wear away a good like half of their health without having to worry about taking damage but in a difficult event like this like i mean we're just not doing any damage but hey at least we're able to get the super attacks easier we're getting the uh the triple super attack turn here yeet those rocks at ui goku but we're not even going to finish him off on this rotation so let me know what you guys think of the great ape easy a's uh, i will try them all out individually on different teams so give me some ideas in the comment section where you want to see those units used and let me know which one is your favorite so far i mean they may not be the best units in the game but it's a global exclusive set of easy a's so i will take it so that is going to be the end of the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.